Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a All Signs General Collective reading. We're going to take a look and see you versus your person, what is going on in the situation between the two of you. We are going to start with Aries. I will write the timestamps down so you can check your sun, moon, or rising. So let's start with Aries first. Aries, what is your energy versus your person's energy? Okay, Aries, so you're in this regretful energy. You feel like you're accepting some type of loss or some type of um, choice that you made. You're feeling this guilt or this regret. Your person's in this energy of feeling like hurt. They feel like the trust has been broken and they're not sure if they're able to move forward. The shared energy is you both may feel that this is a karmic connection, that maybe you're bound to each other because of that or you feel a strong tie, but you feel like you're hurting each other repeatedly. So as far as how they see you, Aries, they see you as somebody who causes conflict, somebody who is very selfish, maybe somebody who only thinks of themselves and always wants to win. How they feel about you is they feel like you're just moving on, that you completely misunderstand them all the time. You don't like to effectively communicate. Maybe you don't even communicate when there's fights, when there's conflicts, maybe they feel you run away. Their intentions is they feel like that the two of you just cannot align. So they don't intend to really try to come back together. Their actions is they do still love you and have compassion, but they're overwhelmed with how much of the fighting has happened between the two of you. So for right now, they're not reaching out. They are going to stay in isolation because they're having a little bit of regret maybe over some things that they said to you recently. Taurus. Okay, Taurus, you versus your person. Let's see what the energy is here for Taurus. Okay, you're in this energy of wanting to reconcile with your person. You feel like the time has come. The time is now. Your person is in this energy of they really want to plant the seeds to grow this connection. They want to manifest it back into reality. The shared energy is that there is some obstacles. There could be some pettiness. There could be some drama that the two of you have had in the past that maybe needs to be overcome. As far as how they see you, Taurus, this is somebody who does see you as a realistic uh, partner for the future. Somebody that they do feel that they can depend on you. They feel you're very generous. They feel that you are also somebody who is very wise and that you do speak the truth. When these situations happen, these issues happen between the two of you, that you are somebody who is very transparent. Their intentions is to try to come towards you. They wanna follow their heart. They wanna be sensitive. And they do wanna come back into union. They are trying to figure out how they can grow it. Their actions is they are very ambitious and driven to try to come towards you. They wanna change whatever the situation is that has caused the disruption between the two of you because they do wanna replant the roots and they wanna to try to regrow this connection. Gemini. Okay, Gemini, let's see. What is the energy for you versus your person, Gemini? What is Gemini's energy? Okay, divine timing, patience, perseverance, peace, trust the divine knows when. So Gemini, you could be waiting to see what the universe has in store for you and your person. Your person is in this energy of release. They're trying to relax. They're trying to release the fear and anxiety or any doubt that they're having when it comes to you in this connection. The shared energy here is that there could be a clash of belief systems or morals and values that the two of you are um, not able to bring together and recognize that there is a clash in the belief system here. As far as how they see you, Gemini, they see you as somebody who maybe makes choices that are hard and difficult, but that you're always at a crossroads of feeling like you have to compromise who you are. As far as how they feel about you, they feel that you are somebody who is awakening to what this connection is, that this is a, a situation where the two of you 
are coming together, even though there are some belief differences, that this is a healing connection for both of you. Their intentions is they're still choosing you. They feel like the love that the two of you have is something that is unmatched and they want to balance things out because they want to make sure that this is a connection that gets started correctly. Their actions is they're going to be very strong in their power of wanting to let you know how they feel because they are driven for success. We do have that chariot at the bottom of the deck. So this person definitely wants movement and positive direction forward for the two of you. Cancer. Okay, Cancer, let's take a look. You versus your person. What's going on here? What is Cancer's energy? Okay, so you're in this energy of reflection. You could be mirroring your person. Your person's in this energy of trying to ascend. They're trying to really gain the knowledge and the intelligence to stay connected to the spirit. So they could be asking their gods. They could be asking their angel, their spirit guides, the universe of helping them evolve and expand. The shared energy is inner child. There is this happiness and this overall energy of wanting to live life to the fullest with each other so this is a mirroring energy you both have as far as how they see you cancer they see you as somebody who is very confident somebody who is very focused and very warm they do feel that their inner child is complete with you they feel that you are somebody who definitely is very charitable you give into the connection just as much as they do they feel you're somebody who's also very fair their intentions is they want to be able to have the truth be out there. They want to speak the truth of how they feel about you. Their actions as they're coming in with a lot of compassion, they're emotionally stable and they want to let you know that, that this is a connection they also feel is very healing for them. They intuitively feel like you both are on the same page, that any problems or issues that the two of you had in the past or disagreements that they are wanting to work through and overcome. Leo. Okay, Leo, let's see you versus your person. What is your energy versus your person, Leo? What is Leo's energy? Okay, we have material world, money, career, status, mark, make your mark. So you could be focused on your work or your career. Your person's energy is friendship, fun, enjoy downtime with family and friends. And the shared energy is journal, which is writing, contemplating, understanding the sacred journal journey. So Leo, you could be all about your money right now and your person could be all about having fun, being around other people. And both of you are in this shared energy of sacrificing and contemplating how to come into alignment. Like how do you get on the same page? Because you're focused on your money. They're focused on having fun. And that's two different things. As far as how they see you, they see you as someone who's very determined to gain something when it comes to your career or your business. You're somebody who's very independent and very focused when it comes to whatever it is that you're working on. As far as how they feel about you, they see you as somebody who is really happy being single, somebody who's very independent, and you are seeking financial rewards for your hard work and determination. As far as their intentions, they want to be fair. They want to gain the truth and clarity and tell you honestly what they are thinking, that they want things to balance out. Their actions is they are a little bit uh, confused on how the two of you could actually come back together and compromise, how the two of you could be at a crossroads. We do have that Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which is all about feeling like there's a lot of negative thoughts, negative self-talk, that this person could be feeling that maybe the two of you can't get on the same page because they want to enjoy life and they don't care about material things and maybe you're more about the material realm. So they're kind of stuck in their head with negative thoughts right now, Leo. Virgo. 920. Okay, Virgo, you versus your person. Let's see what is going on here with the energy. Virgo and their person. What is Virgo's energy? Whoa, okay, fifth dimension. This popped out really hard and fast. So Virgo, this is intuitive communication. You're connected to the soul level. So you could feel like intuitively you're communicating with your person on a soul level, like maybe it's a soul tie. 
Your person is on this material realm. They are trying to make their mark when it comes to their finances. They could be changing jobs or trying to increase their finances. And the shared energy is transformation. There is something that you both are feeling like you want to go to the next level when it comes to this connection. So Virgo, you could feel like intuitively because the soul tie is so strong that maybe you want to evolve the emotional level. And your person is feeling like they want to make more money to try to have more of a solid foundation when it comes to this connection. So let's see, Virgo, how does your person see you? Okay, so they do see you as somebody who does create opportunities and you're very focused on love. And that might be something you're more curious to know if your person has this love. How they feel about you, they feel that you are developing um, this plan for the future and that you could be seeking some opportunities when it comes to exploring how you feel emotionally. As far as their intentions, they are trying to seek what the truth is if this transformation is actually going to happen. So they could be spending some time alone thinking a lot about it. Their actions is they, they care. They have a lot of emotional stability that they do want to give you, Virgo. They know that focusing on their money is something that they've been doing, but they do want to change and transform so that they can also feel intuitively that they care about the connection, not just on the monetary realm, but on the emotional realm. We also have that devil um, in reverse. So this is somebody who maybe is trying to recover from having some toxic or neg negative beliefs when it comes to relationships and connections. And they're trying to transform their thoughts when it comes to that, that a relationship is not just providing on a monetary level. There's so many other aspects and that could be something this person is trying to let go of, Virgo. Libra. 11.15. Okay, Libra, let's see. You versus your person. What is the energy for Libra and their person? What is Libra's energy? Okay, we have sacred journey. Understanding who you truly are. This journey brings self-discovery. So you're trying to figure out who you are when it comes to you and this person. Your person's in this energy of loss, loss of self and identity to discover your true self again. So your person, if you and your person have broke up, you're trying to rediscover who you are outside of this connection. And your person is doing the same thing. You're mirroring each other in that aspect. The shared energy here is you're both trying to maybe do some praying, some affirmations, asking your God or your universe, your spirit guides to give you guidance, to help you understand what is this divine plan for your life. That was this a situation that you have to accept that the sacrifice of this relationship was necessary for your own personal journey. And that could be something you and your person are mirroring each other and trying to figure this out. As far as how they see you, Libra, they see you as somebody who is very abundant, somebody who is very attractive, and somebody who really takes action on what they truly deserve. How they feel about you is that maybe you trap yourself in your own thoughts and your own beliefs, and that kind of disempowers the relationship or the connection at one time, and maybe it forced this connection into a um, situation where you push this person away. Maybe you ended the things with this person because you were too stuck in your head about your own journey, your own path. As far as their intentions, they feel like this is a situation where they're missing out on a great opportunity with the two of you together because both of you are trying to still figure out life after the fact. This is something that's being revealed to this person that them contemplating their own self-identity because of the situation. Their actions is they're just working on their own inner strength. They're focusing on themselves. They're really trying to understand and have compassion for themselves. Especially if you did end things, Libra, this person, um, they feel insecure now. They feel like they don't know who they are anymore, especially if this is a situation where maybe you're together for a really long time. This person is also feeling the hardship and the loss of their own identity and maybe even financial identity. Scorpio. Fourteen thirty-six. Okay, Scorpio, let's see. You versus your person. What is going on? What is the energy for Scorpio and their person? 
What's Scorpio's energy? Okay, so we have winter. You feel left out in the cold. Your answers arrive in the winter time. So you could be feeling completely iced out by your person, feeling completely left out in the cold. Your person's in this loss energy, loss of self-identity. Discover your true self again. And the shared energy is sacred journey. So... Uh, Libra had the same energy for loss and sacred journey. So there is this underlying shared energy that you both are feeling the loss. You're feeling the coldness, especially if you broke, broke up recently or you're not in communication because maybe you got in a fight. Both of you are truly trying to discover who you are. You're trying to uncover what happened and why it happened. We also see blessing at the bottom of the deck. So your guides are trying to give you some signs. Scorpio to let you know why this is all happening and the reason. As far as how your person sees you, they see you as somebody who's realistic, that you do provide and you are a generous person overall. How they feel about you is that you are somebody who really gains the truth and clarity of what it is that you need to do, that you're somebody who's highly spiritual and you have a lot of faith in the connections that when you do pour into them and that you also are maybe on your own healing journey. Their intentions is to really accept that things are over and try to transition and accept the loss that it is. Their actions is they want to close out this cycle. They know which is that there maybe was some manipulation. They also have some insecurity and lack of confidence when it comes to the two of you possibly ever getting back together. Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, you versus your person. Let's see what the energy is here. What is Sagittarius's energy in this connection? Okay, so you're in this pause energy. Calmness, stepping back. You're waiting for a sign. So you could be surrendering, waiting to see what the universe does. Your person is in this vibration of positivity. They're in this really high vibration where they're trying to attract everything that they truly desire. The shared energy is sacred journey, understanding who you truly are. The journey brings self-discovery. So Sagittarius, as you are waiting for the sign from the universe about this journey that you're on with this person, your person is also trying to attract and manifest the, everything that they truly want, the truth and clarity in the situation between the two of you. So let's see, they see you, Sagittarius, as their one true love, the person that they have the most love for. They could see you as their soulmate, a, someone that they want this relationship with. They want long-term. They want marriage. They feel that you are somebody who is maybe going through this rebirth or this awakening right now that you're recognizing that you need to stop and forgive things from the past so that you can really continue on with your healing. As far as their intentions, they are trying to be a little bit mysterious by not letting you know that they do have a little bit of fear and anxiety, a little bit of reservation. Their intuition is telling them to keep staying positive, but their mind is maybe conflicted by that fear and anxiety. As far as their actions, they are still focused and determined to try to be with you, Sagittarius. This is a connection where this could be a fire sign too. This is somebody who is very focused on you regardless. They're focused on their own positive confidence, but they're also very enthusiastic that maybe you're gonna come around. We do have that manifestation, that magician at the bottom of the deck being hidden. So this is something that your person could be very confident because of their positive vibration right now that they can manifest the two of you together that you will recognize this is a journey that was supposed to happen between you. Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, 19. Let's see, Capricorn, you versus your person. All right, Capricorn, what is your energy? Okay, stuck, blocked, third party, silence, barrier, shift your focus to clear your energy. So you could be feeling completely trapped or stuck in your thought right now. Your person's in this energy of family, kids, opinion, judgment, resolve, family stress, and get support. 
And your shared energy is fear, which is darkness, hesitation, insecurity. Know that you are protected. So Capricorn, you're stuck in your head. Your person is stressed out. They're trying to lean on other people outside of this connection. You both are insecure. You both are very hesitant because of what's going on. There's a darkness, a looming energy, maybe something shocking all of a sudden happened where you feel like you neither one of you care about each other anymore. As far as how they see you, Capricorn, they see you as somebody who is very truthful and honest that you are somebody who's also very balanced with what you say. As far as how they feel about you, they feel like maybe at times you're a little bit naive when it comes to having your own freedom and that maybe you get stuck in your head a little bit too much. As far as their intentions, they want to be very considerate and supportive, but they need you to get out of your head so that you can really understand that the love they're trying to give you is something that you truly do deserve. And you can let go of that fear and anxiety. As far as their actions, they are going to withdraw a little bit. They're gonna contemplate if they even want to try to help fix this because they do have a lot of fear about the way you withdraw and get stuck in your head if you can actually overcome it. There is this insecurity and almost this um, demanding energy that this person may give you an ultimatum cap Capricorn of, hey, get stuck out of your head and let go of those fears or um, this is never going to work. So that is something that is being hidden as this person may give a little bit of a demanding um, conversation to you. Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what is the energy for you versus your person, Aquarius. What is Aquarius's energy? Okay, so we have vibration. Energy and positivity. Raise your vibration to attract what you desire. So you are elevated at a very high vibration. You are trying to attract everything that you want. Your person's in this energy of separation. No contact, nightmares, focusing on own happiness. So if you broke up recently, Aquarius, your person is feeling the emotional separation. The shared energy is sacred space. So you both could be doing a lot of praying, a lot of affirmations, really talking to the universe, trying to feel what it is that you need to do and how to progress and move forward. As far as how they see you, Aquarius, they do see you as somebody who is very positive, somebody who will do whatever it takes to have success, that you're somebody who is knowing everything will be okay at the end of the day. How they feel about you is they do feel that you are kind of feeling yourself, that you really see the truth of who you are and you're willing to pour back into yourself. Anytime someone empties your cup, you're gonna refill your own cup, that you don't need someone to do that for you. As far as their intentions, they are kind of holding back. They are fearful if they were to express any feelings or emotions during this loss that you maybe not want to even entertain it. As far as their actions, they feel like there are life lessons that they haven't learned fully yet. They are not feeling happy or satisfied because of this emotional separation. So what you don't see is they're gonna to continue to do some soul searching. They're gonna spend some time by themselves. They're gonna really try to see what the truth is and be by themselves and gain the wisdom and knowledge they need to overcome the situation between the two of you. Pisces. 23, 29. Okay, Pisces. What is the energy between Pisces and the person? One more. What is Pisces energy? Okay, sacred space. A lot of people are getting this. Okay, so Pisces, you are doing a lot of praying, a lot of affirmations. Maybe you're just waiting for signs from the universe about this connection. Your person is in this, they're trying to also connect to spirit. They're trying to gain the universal intelligence to know how to expand or grow this connection. The shared energy is unawakened. So there is something that maybe the two of you are not ready for union, that this is something that you're not fully ready to evolve or even be together. Maybe this just is like right person, wrong timing type situation. Let's see here, Pisces. 
how does your person see you? Okay, so they see you as somebody who is their wish fulfillment. They see you as somebody who's happy regardless that you do what you need to do because you're emotionally secure within yourself. You don't need anyone for emotional security. How they feel about you, they feel you are soulmates. So they feel like the strength of the two of you would be absolutely amazing. They feel like you are somebody that they really do value and they want to align with, but their intentions are they know that they are fearing this change because neither one of you are awakened to what this soul tide is or this soulmate connection, if that's what this is. This person is really fearing that the two of you are not going to be on the same page. And as far as their actions, they're going to sit and be very pessimistic about what's going to happen. They're going to maintain their boundaries and they're going to stay in solitude. Solitude. They're going to be able to just go within and continue to think about it, do soul searching, ask the universe for more signs because they're still in this ascension energy. So they're not ready to fully accept what this connection is yet, Pisces.